Alright, so what's up guys? Today's Wednesday, I just got out of work, so I just got home, gonna just take Vanessa out for a drive. That's just, that's just what you do when you have uh, two cars, or at least a, a daily and then like a project car. You, you know, use the daily for work, school, whatever, and then come home and you're driving, driving your project car. If it runs, that's, that's sort of important. Yeah, so today I just wanted to talk about why I got into cars and what got me into cars. So, I don't really know the answer to that question. I really don't. It's 240. No worries. What got me into cars? I don't know. No idea. I just remember that as a kid, just something about cars just fascinated me. Just I had, I had Hot Wheels, and I would always play with the Hot Wheels, and I had the cars, and then the tracks, and all that. And then I stepped up to Legos. I got into Legos, and then I got into Lego Technic, and that's like all. Like the really cool shit, and that's at, from that point I was building cars out of Legos with like actual engines and shit, suspension and steering and everything. And it was cool. Yeah, I, I I don't know exactly what got me into cars. I used to go to car shows. So going to one this Saturday, I'm gonna be at the HRE open house. If you're in the area, I definitely recommend you come out. Not to see me though, because I don't want to fuck it. But yeah, if you're in the area, decide to come out. It's a good time. It's a big fucking show. And it's just great. Oh, shit, those pops. But yeah, so I don't know what, what got me into cars exactly. I just know that I just love cars. And I used to go with my dad to. To LA, to Beverly Hills, just so we could look at the cars there. You know, just look, see, I was like 10. Go look at some Ferraris and Lamborghinis. You know, why not? I still do that every now and then, but I, the traffic sucks. Really bad. I don't have like a special story about how I got into cars, but I mean, my favorite car of all is where I've got my YouTube channel name from. And my My favorite car of all time. Like if I could only get one car, hands down, I'd get the Selena 7. Over anything, I don't care. If there's, I, there's, there's stuff better out there and there's stuff worse out there. But I would take that over anything. way up there for me. That is at the fucking top. I just, ever since I saw Bruce Almighty, that's, I know how I got into that car. I don't know how I got into cars in general, but I just remember seeing Bruce Almighty and then being, seeing it and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's so fucking cool. And then it said Celine, and then they show the interior shot of the shifter and it said S7 near it. So I looked that up. And then I started learning about it, and I was like, oh shit, this, this thing is badass. <laughs> and that's, that's how I got into it. And then I, I saw my first ever S7 in, what, three years ago? At the LA Auto Show. They had one there, and that was fucking cool. And then that same car showed up at the one of the Lamborghini Newport Beach car shows and it was just unexpected and that was fucking awesome that was, but yeah that's how I got into that car and I fucking love that car like it's ah uh, it's just so fucking cool so fucking cool and I will fucking own one that's a fucking promise I don't know when but I know I will if you're a car guy you, you 
be able to relate to me on not knowing how you got into cars. Because most car guys I know don't know how they got into cars. They just got into cars. They, they don't remember. But I'm the same way. I just don't remember. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later.